If you've been looking for a way to automatically power cycle your home router so you don't have to, to unplug it, which is difficult, especially if you're away from home, I want to show you this plug-in device here called Keep Connect. That th what this does is it pings uh, an internet server through your home Wi-Fi, and if it fails to get a response, it power cycles the router. Now, in this case, I've added an extra light here for demo purposes so you can see how it works. Now, it takes several minutes for it to detect the loss. That's an adjustable setting. And then to actually reset it. So I'll have to edit out some of the times here, but it's very easy to set up. First, when you plug it in, it turns into a little home Wi-Fi hotspot that you connect your mobile phone to and then create an account and then you set this this device to your home Wi-Fi settings and after that that's all there is it just checks everything and it will reset this there's a, a description below uh, with a link to an article I wrote that describes it in more detail Okay, now I want to show you how it works. Uh, let's say that this lost its connection. So to, to simulate that, I'm going to pull out the power and we'll just wait for the Keep Connect to detect that. Of course, it's trying to ping those servers on the internet and it can't reach them. It takes a few minutes just to be sure and uh, I'll edit the time to lay out. In, in my testing, it's about five minutes. There are some settings that you can adjust if you want to change those uh, delays. So what we're waiting for now is this blue light to turn to yellow, which means it's detected that it can no longer ping those servers on the internet. In my case, this was about three and a half minutes in. And now when it's flashing, it means that it's determined that it can't, can't ping the servers. What it still needs to do now is after it waits a bit, it will power cycle this, which we'll be able to tell because this light will turn off. Okay, you see now the power is turned off, so it's trying to reboot this. So you wouldn't have to do this, but this is just for my test here. But this is effectively what it's done. Cycle power on that, and now we'll just wait for it to turn the power back on. And as you can see, it's turned the power back on. Both my router and the, and the test light I put on here. Now we just have to wait for it to determine that it can ping the servers and then this will turn back blue meaning everything's okay again i didn't have to do anything so i could be at home or i could be away from home or this could be say at my parents home or a vacation home and when it finally connects back up it'll send me an email or an sms uh, depending on how i set it up uh, to let me know it's back up now there's another feature if you um, get the paid subscription that it can inform you okay it's back up so it's happy and i'll get an email message saying it's back up and working so that works that email message works on restoration but let's say you want to know if it went out and it can't connect back up say there's a power outage there's some other problem that it a reboot doesn't solve it. If you uh, use the paid subscription, what they do is they set up a watchdog on the internet servers and then they will look to see it's not getting pings from this guy and it'll then send you an email or SMS saying, I can't connect to it and you need to take some action locally. Again, the simplest way, you just set this up and it takes care of everything for you.